hello friends till now we have seen how to create a how to generate the token and how to save it into the database which is a mongo database now we will um, create a function which is a pre function there are uh, pre function means it's a kind of life cycle function before the save function so when we are doing user dot save so before saving this user to the database that function will be called and whatever filters we want to add to this user object we can do that there so we will hash the password means uh, yeah so we will encrypt the password and then we will save it to the database so for that we have to do simply user schema dot free free is a function which will take the event so the first event which is save event so this is the event which for which we want to do the pre-processing and it will have a next which is a function and then yeah so this is what yeah we have to do now this also will take uh, the instance so for that c o n the instance user instance right for which we are doing this pre-processing so this is the user now we have to check if the user password has been modified or not so this will be applying in the case of update password also and create password also so we will do it if user it will have an inbuilt function which is is modified modi f i e d is modified as a function which will check the property of this function is modified or not the property is ess w o r d password if it is modified then we have to decrypt it else we have to simply call the next function so it's a kind of middleware you can say which sits in between this event and what that event does here we have to decrypt it for decrypt there is a library which is decrypt and we will go and check how to implement that decrypt npm yeah i have already installed you have to install it first and this installation process is simple and PMI decrypt has that save so that it will go into your package.json and yes that's what we have to do simple enough is yes so this is what we have to do it will generate a salt which will be base 10 here we have got the salt here will be the password which will be the user.pesswrd password solve function it will return a hash yes so now we will update our password by using pss word equal to h a s h hash now our password has been hashed and that's it and then we have to call this next function and let's check if this is working we'll go here we'll make it 14 save and there we go the password has been passed so that's what we wanted to do here and which is working fine and then we'll see if we have done properly now there is another function which is a two json function and which applies to the methods itself means the user j s o n two json it will return right now we are getting all the values means we are getting id name email password tokens everything but uh, this token should go into the header we will fetch it in the client side from the header which is xauth so we don't want this token to be passed inside the uh, response this password is also not required for the response only id email and name three things are required so for that we will create a function which is to json json FUNCP and fun if the function spelling is not right we copy and paste sorry for the typos I do a lot hmm, it will also have user which is this then we will convert the user into an object hmm, user object equal to user dot to or check that's all then we will use a lodash library and we'll pick this pick certain 
properties from this complete object so for doing that we will return that also so that I can get it into the uh, response so we have a pick we want to pick certain things like ID email oh, sorry it will be string email and name M -A -M -A. I want only these three properties and I, I want these three properties from this user object so this will be the first parameter and there we go now we'll update our call and we'll check if we are doing right and there we go that's what we wanted and that's what we did finally so now there are two things which is a uh, find credentials which function this, this function will create for login uh, then remove token we will create for for this for this what uh, logout and one more function we will create which is find by token so that uh, if any logged in user will um, again open the app so one function will call and it will verify that token which is on the client side to the back end that if that that the token is valid and user exists so that's what we are going to do in the next videos Till then bye bye take care and again give your feedbacks subscribe comment like do whatever you want as always